Hello everyone. Today I wanna、uh, share with you some tricks to find the minimum, max,、um, and the specified quantile value based on multiple criteria in a complex database. So this kind of data analysis is very common、uh, in all kinds of analysis. So for example, in this scenario that I set up as below,、um, I have an employee data、um, base that's. Probably extracted from system with、uh, the salary for different job levels and different job families, and then I want to be able to find out、uh, the minimum, the twenty fifth percentile, the median,、uh, the seventy fifth percentile, and the max for each of those groups based on their job level and job family. And for example, that is how we look at the internal data, and then we may also have the market. External data、um, that we extracted from some market surveys like Mercer or Hewitt or Hay Group, and then we want to compare、um, line by line how competitively we are、uh, internally. So of course, like to do this kind of analysis, we need the function of quartile, minimum, and max. So、um, this kind of formula is pretty easy to do、uh, with a very simple set of data, like the one here. Like for example, if we want to find the minimum for this, it's really just the minimum function. It's the same for the max. And then if we want to find quartile, we just type in quartile, like select that and go tab. Select the data range,、uh, and then、uh, comma, and then select、uh, what kind of、um, quantile we want. Like, let's say we want the first quantile, which is the P twenty five, and then we get that number right away. So this looks quite intuitive when we have a simple database, but then what's making our analysis here? Complex is that we actually need to have multiple criteria, and then it it is not just going to be a simple formula here because、um, this is just the formula that set、um, that's for the whole database, but we only want this.、Uh, The value that satisfies those two criteria. So how do we do that? And that is why where we need the array function.、Um, and actually to make、um, the function uh, more uh, clean, what、uh, I would always do is actually.、Um, Go back to my data set and then name、um, and then create named range for it. Like for example, my job analysis.、Uh, so, sorry, like my job level.、Um, I just want to name this column as job level, and then this column as job family, and this column as salary. So what I would do is I select all those columns with the title、uh, row.、Uh, go. Control down, select all of them, and now I go to formula. I go to create from selection,、um, and then I create. I want to create based on the top row title. Okay, so now if you go to here, you can see that、um, I have named my、um, columns accordingly. I have named my data、uh, accordingly, and then that's what's gonna make our formula here a lot easier to do. Okay, so now we want to find the minimum number for analyst in IT services、um, and analyst in IT、uh, in data analysis department.、Uh, let's let's just look at our data set and to see.、Uh, Like which number is cracked? Okay, so we have a few data rows here, and then it looks like for data analysis, it's gonna be thirty-five, thirty-five for data and analytics, and then for IT services, the minimum is thirty-seven. So those are the two.、Um, Those are the two numbers that we should be aiming at. So how do we do that?、Uh, so first we're looking for minimum. So it's just still we need the minimum, and then you just type in if, and then the logic you want to build here is that if your job level. Note that when you type in job level, the tabs pop up, and then you just select the right tab and then go tab.、Um, 
and then the data set is selected and then you want your job level uh, data set equals to analyst um, and you can make, uh, also make this absolute reference uh, so that it wouldn't change as you copy the formula down uh, and just create and then after the comment and create another formula which is if your job family um, equals the job family selection here and then just know that also make it an absolute reference there um, and then if those two uh, applies then we want to um, uh, look at our salary uh, column range and then if not then uh, it should be zero and then let's close the brackets uh, close the bracket for the minimum and then as you close all the bracket, go Control Shift Enter at the same time. Okay, so now you see there is not the right number. So I think that's because I have the zero here, which is not correct. So you just go uh, Control Shift Enter again. Yep. So that is actually how uh, you can come up with the right minimum number for your formula. And actually, if you copy this formula down here, note that you actually have uh, the right number here. And then um, you can just copy the formula down and then it's just really easy like this. And then, okay, so now we have finished the minimum. Uh, it's going to be the same for the max. Uh, the only difference is just change the minimum for max. So I wouldn't repeat there. Uh, for the uh, percentile, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the core thing here is really just change the minimum function to quartile function. Uh, and then you do exactly the same thing. Job level equals um, analyst. make it an absolute reference and then job family um oh yes yeah, see like i actually forget to add the if function okay so if job fam uh, level equals the analyst and if my job family equals it services make it a re absolute reference and then and then you look at my salary uh my salary uh, range and then now you have selected close the to if function uh, so now you have close the if function which is your array and then comma and then it pops up to ask you to choose the desired uh, quantile so basically this is p25 we want to choose one and then close the bracket and then again go control shift enter yeah, so that is actually how you can produce um, the P twenty fifth, uh, the P twenty five, which is P twenty fifth percentile, uh, for all your complex database without rearranging it, um, and it's just that easy. And then you, when you, if you want to do the same thing for medium, you basically just change the one to two and then the same for p25 so you see like i actually just now see that i um when i enter it it's showing zero and that is because i have removed the control shift enter so let's just do it again and then the number is going to show up okay so um this is what i want to share with you today about the quantile um, and about the array function i found it very useful and i hope that you will find this uh, for a uh, video helpful as well if you like it please help to like it uh, below and subscribe to my channel thank you very much